Chakras play a key role in how our body, mind and emotions function. Living a better life starts with charging our aura with spiritual light and getting our chakras activated to improve our outlook, sense of well-being and energy. This workshop explains how our chakras are like transformers for spiritual energy. We can consciously use them to emit high frequency energies to heal ourselves and bless those around us. My name is Patricia and in this workshop we'll learn how to powerfully energize our aura and chakras. The chakras you see here show the colors when they are vibrating at their highest frequency. So we will meditate on these beautiful visualizations to help us get to that state. We'll look at different attributes of each chakra and what body parts they affect. Then we'll explore tools we can use to cleanse the chakras. We'll utilize the full power of the science of the spoken word to accelerate our path. These teachings come from the Ascended Masters through their anointed messengers, Mark and Elizabeth Clare Prophet. Their calling was to deliver spiritual teachings of the heavenly beings, of our soul's awakening and a path whereby we can find our way back to God. They did this by the Holy Spirit, as in the tradition of the prophets of the Bible. This is the chart of our divine self. Understanding our spiritual anatomy will help us on our spiritual journey. There are three figures in this chart, an upper, a middle and a lower figure. The I am presence in the centre of the upper figure is the spirit of God individualised for each one of us. The I am presence is surrounded by seven concentric coloured spheres known as the causal body. These spheres of, or balls of pulsating spiritual energy contain the records of our positive karma. As we use God's energy in positive choices, the energy rises to our causal body. It is our cosmic bank account in heaven. The colours of the causal body correspond with the seven rays of our seven chakras. This image illustrates why the colours of the chakras are depicted thus. The middle figure of the chart is our higher self. It is the level of consciousness that represented by an image of Jesus the Christ. Jesus attained oneness with the higher self. The higher self is the voice that speaks within our heart, the voice that tells us right from wrong, giving guidance. When we follow the guidance of the higher self, the higher self draws closer to us. Our goal is for the higher self to envelop us. This occurs when we have sufficiently purified and healed our auras. We can purify our auras by invoking light through the science of the spoken word, which we will be exploring and practicing today. The lower figure of the chart represents us evolving on planet Earth within what is called the tube of light. We invoke the tube of light with a mantra, also called decrees, and visualization. When we give the tube of light decree, we visualize ourselves standing in a cylinder of white light, nine feet or three meters in diameter, descending from the I am presence, the upper figure of the chart and goes beneath our feet. Within the tube of light, we visualize violet fire. Each time we give the tube of light decree, we are reinforcing the armor of protective light around us. It's a good practice to give this first thing each morning before we start our day. This is our first layer of protection. 
our focused attention and devotion while giving the mantra are keys to its power and our focused attention improves with practice. We will give this twice on our own, then join Elizabeth Clare Prophet once, who will give it at a faster pace. Together. Beloved, I am presence bright. Round me seal your tube of light. From ascended master flame, call forth now in God's own name. Let it keep my temple free from all discord sent to me. I am calling forth violet fire to blaze and transmute all desire, keeping on in freedom's name till I am one with the violet flame. Beloved, I am presence bright. Round me seal your tube of light from ascended master flame. Called forth now in God's own name. Let it keep my temple free from all discord sent to me. I am calling forth violet fire to blaze and transmute all desire, keeping on in freedom's name till I am one with the violet flame. Beloved, I am present bright, round me seal your tube of light. From ascended master flame, called forth now in God's own name. Let it keep my temple free from all discord sent to me. I am calling forth violet fire to blaze and transmute all desire, keeping gone in freedom's name till I am one with a violet flame. The chakras are step-down transformers of the light from the I am presence, nourishing body, mind and soul. It is through these seven energy centers that the spiritual energy from our I am presence is distributed throughout our body. The seven major chakras are located at etheric levels along the spinal column. It is this life force that energizes our organs and systems of our body. The word chakra is Sanskrit for wheel. Each chakra has a different number of petals. The more petals the chakra has, the higher its frequency or vibration. The more energy that flows through a chakra, the faster it spins. As each chakra spins, it emanates a, a unique frequency and color of the seven rays of God. We are continually receiving spiritual energy. We can choose to use this energy in loving ways and in a spiritual practice or we dissipate energy in any of our chakras through activities that don't support our spiritual growth. Energy centers that are impure cause us to experience fatigue, health or emotional imbalances. When energy does not flow freely through the chakras, the chakras will be off-centered or discolored and the corresponding organs will, are not, will not be as nourished with light. Let's look at each chakra individually. We'll start at the base of the spine chakra, which is white and has four petals. The health and vitality of the base of the spine chakra affects all the other chakras. How we use the energy in the base chakra will determine whether the potential of our other chakras remains dormant or becomes awakened. People who have mastery of the base of the spine chakra demonstrate a striving for excellence and purity. It's best to meditate on the upper chakras from the heart to the crown, which becomes, become magnets that's, that safely draw up the energy from the base chakra. Each chakra is associated with an organ in our body. And the musical instruments which offer healing for this chakra are the drums. And I'd like to um, just remind you that these colours are the colours of the perfected chakras, which aren't necessarily seen by people today when they look through their third eye.
The positive expressions of the chakra are purity, hope, joy, self-discipline, integration, perfection, wholeness, and nurturing. Unbalanced expressions include discouragement, hopelessness, impurity, and chaos. The parts of the body that the base chakra affects are the adrenals and the reproductive organs. The second chakra going upward is the seat of the soul chakra. Its color is violet and has six petals. This is the chakra where we connect with our soul. The more our soul is in touch with her spiritual nature, the more accurate our soul impressions will be. The more our soul is identified with the human ego, the unreal self, the less enlightened these impressions will be. The purification of the soul chakra frees us from the patterns of the unreal self, which have developed over lifetimes as a way for the soul to protect herself from pain. The soul has developed defense mechanisms and habit patterns that adversely affect relationships, inhibit development of connection with the higher self and creates blockages in the body's energy systems. The musical instruments which provide healing of the seat of the soul chakra are the woodwinds like the flute and the clarinet. Positive expressions of the seat of the soul chakra are freedom, mercy, forgiveness, justice, transcendence, alchemy, transmutation, diplomacy, intuition, prophecy and revelation. Unbalanced expressions include lack of forgiveness, justice or mercy, intolerance, lack of tact, disregard for others and cruelty. The parts of the body that are affected by the seat of the soul chakra are the organs and systems of elimination and reproduction. We receive a return of whatever ever energy we send out through our thoughts, feelings or actions. All situations are opportunities to respond in a balanced way refraining from patterns of blame or a sense of injustice. This awareness makes forgiveness easier. Forgiveness is an essential part of healing our bodies and souls. We are karmically tied to those we do not forgive. It doesn't mean we condone harmful actions. We let go of our sense of injustice and let God render judgment. It's our work to forgive and God's work to deliver the karma that will help the soul learn her lessons. If we don't let go of resentment, anger, or the desire for revenge, we may reincarnate with the same tests until we learn to forgive. The solar plexus is located between the heart and the seat of the soul chakras. It is purple and gold and has 10 petals. It is from this center that we learn to master our emotions and cultivate inner peace and brotherhood. A key to mastering the solar plexus chakra is practicing awareness of our thoughts and feelings and choosing to respond rather than react. Not reacting becomes easier as we learn to use the tools the Ascended Masters have given us to transmute or change our patterns of consciousness. We also can surrender the desires and activities which do not support our spiritual growth. Mastering our desires means surrendering our ego-centered desires in favor of desiring the will of God. The musical instrument which offers healing for this chakra is the organ. The positive expressions of the solar plexus chakra are peace, brotherhood, selfless service, right desire, balance and harmlessness. The unbalanced expressions are anger, agitation, fanaticism, aggression, egoism, 
overindulgence, fear, anxiety, and passivity. The parts of the body associated with the solar plexus chakra are the digestive system, liver, and pancreas. The quality of the 12 petaled pink heart chakra is God's love. Our heart chakra inspires us with the compassion <clears throat> and generosity to be love in action. The ascended masters encourage us to study our psychology to help us understand and heal our inner pain that may cause us to act in unloving ways. The musical instrument which offers specific healing for this chakra is the heart. Positive expressions of the heart chakra are love, compassion, beauty, selflessness, sensitivity, appreciation, comfort, creativity, charity, and generosity. Unbalanced expressions include hatred, dislike, selfishness, self-pity, human sympathy, and negligence. Parts of the body the heart chakra affects <clears throat> are the heart, thymus, and circularity system. <clears throat> the Ascended Masters teach that when we forgive, it causes hardness of heart. Sorry, when we don't forgive, it causes hardness of heart, which can cause diseases of the heart. It's easier to forgive when we understand that the unerring law of karma repays all. The 16 petaled throat chakra is our power center. We make positive karma with this chakra when we use our voice in our spiritual practices and in support of others. We make negative karma with this chakra when we gossip, criticize, condemn, judge, or curse God or man. Each time we speak, we are making a choice to help or to harm. The musical instruments which offer specific healing for this chakra are the brass instruments, like the trumpet, horn, and trombone. Positive expressions of the throat chakra include strength, will, faith, protection, courage, and obedience. The unbalanced expressions are control, condemnation, idle chatter, gossip, human willfulness, impotence, cowardice, and doubt. The parts of the body affected by the throat chakra are the thyroid, lungs, and respiratory system. The third eye chakra is emerald green and has 96 petals. It is located between the brows. The highest use of this chakra is to hold the vision of the highest outcome for ourselves and others and all situations. The third eye chakra and the crown chakra connect us with the higher mind and flashes of insights of the higher self. We misuse this chakra when our motives are selfish. The musical instrument which offers specific healing for this chakra is the piano. The Ascended Lady Master, Mother Mary, <clears throat> teaches us the science known as the Immaculate Concept. This science is the practice of using pure vision for self and world transformation. Because our subconscious has recorded both the positive and negative impressions throughout all our lives, we may not be aware of how much we've been influenced by others' negative perceptions of us. These negatives limit our mastery in our pursuit in life. The subconscious plays back the negatives, undermining our successes. That's why positive affirmations help us align our subconscious with the posi positive potential of our soul. In an I am affirmation, we use our throat chakra for constructive change. We can create I am affirmations tailored to our needs, such as, 
I am forgiveness acting here, or I am love in action. What we affirm following the words I am energetically imprints, imprints in our aura or energy field. Spoken words command energy and become self-fulfilling prophecies. Positive expressions of the third eye chakra are truth, vision, holding the highest vision of ourselves and others, healing, wholeness, abundance, constancy, focus, music, and science. Unbalanced expressions include falsehood, lack of vision, criticism, lack of clarity, inconstancy, and spiritual impoverishment. Parts of the body that are connected with the third eye are the pituitary, pineal, and portions of the brain. The crown chakra is where we receive the experience and experience wisdom and ultimately enlightenment. This chakra is golden yellow and has 972 petals. It has the highest frequency of all the chakras. The full opening of this golden yellow center has been depicted as the halo of the saints and as the vibrant corona around the Buddhas. The musical instruments which offer specific healing for this chakra are the stringed instruments such as the violin and the cello. The positive expressions of the crown chakra include illumination, wisdom, self-knowledge and self-knowledge, understanding, humility, cosmic consciousness and open-mindedness. Open Note that we have the self with a lowercase s and one with the uppercase s. The self with the lowercase is our human creation, while the other is our higher self. Unbalanced expressions of the crown chakra are <clears throat> intellectual and spiritual pride, vanity, intellectualism, ego-centeredness, narrow-mindedness, and ignorance. The parts of the body affected by the crown chakra are the pineal or pituitary, cerebral cortex, and the nervous system. The Ascended Masters teach that where man's attention goes, there goes his energy. And where our energy goes, creation follows. But where our attention doesn't go, disintegration follows. Meditation helps us absorb the light and illumination of the higher self, fulfilling the mind and emotions and experiencing oneness with universal con consciousness. Conversely, the vibration of pride creates a dark corona around the head rather than the brilliant yellow corona of the illumined ones. This dark energy blocks our contact with the higher mind and the impulses of the divine. It's not a well-developed human intellect or education that qualifies us to access divine intelligence. The Ascended Masters has given, have given us many tools for healing our chakras. Today we will focus on the gift of the violet flame. Just as physical light refracted through a prism manifests as seven colours, spiritual light manifests as seven rays of God's consciousness. Each of the coloured rays manifests specific qualities as we have seen with the seven chakras. The qualities of the violet ray and the seat of the soul chakra are mercy, forgiveness, freedom, and transmutation. The violet ray is the most physical of the seven spiritual rays and closest in vibratory action to matter. Therefore, it has the greatest ability to affect the physical plane. In the 20th century, the ascended master Saint Germain saw the many challenges we were facing and he received permission from the spiritual overseers of this planet to have the knowledge and use of the violet flame be made available 
to everyone. This image shows how negative energy of our karma accumulates in the atoms of our bodies, causing the atoms and electrons to slow down in their spin. When we invoke the violet flame, the interaction between the nucleus of the atom and the light of the violet flame establishes a, vibrat a vibrating back and forth, which transforms the negative energy into light. Without this dense energy, the electrons begin to move more freely, raising our vibration. We are next going to watch a two minute video clip of Mrs. Prophet teaching an audience about the violet flame. She mentions Keeper of the Flame lessons and these are a series of lessons of spiritual teaching published by the Summit Lighthouse. Next slide you're going to see is the violet fire burning through what appear to be rocks or clumps of wood. You have to imagine this at the cellular level of karma lodging in the cells and molecules and atoms of your being, flecks as flecks of dust or soot or crystallized substance that has a negative vibration. That is exactly how karma clogs our beings, our bodies, the earth, the water, the air, and that is why we get burdened, and that's why our vibrations go down. The definition of vibration, by the way, is the rate of the spin of the electron around the atoms of your being. That's the truth, and that's what you'll read about in the first Keeper of the Flame lesson. So what happens is that the density of our consciousness, because it's God's light, we're misqualifying, it accumulates as fine dust or smog between those wide open spaces of the electrons. So they slow down, they can't pass through as easily, as easily. And the rate of that revolution of the electron around the nucleus determines your personal vibration. And the more you have light and the violet flame, the more you accelerate, the more you have energy, there is a new joy in your life because the electrons themselves are enjoying that cosmic spin you're giving them. So that substance that gets heavy between the electrons has been compared to molasses or asphalt hardened or to clumps of substance like on the screen. This Violet Flame Mantra is sponsored by the Ascended Master St. Germain. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. While giving this mantra, we use our third eye chakra to visualize ourselves in the cleansing dancing violet flame. The violet flame will start to consume negative energy patterns of consciousness that we are ready to let go of. I invite you to give this mantra with a one minute audio recording of Mrs. Prophet leading. You may wonder why we repeat a mantra. Sound and words are energetic chalices of light. The more the mantra is repeated, the more light is invoked. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. 
I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desire. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desire. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desire. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desire. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desire. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desire. Next, we will give the same mantra with a video that shows the violet flame acting at a cellular level, purifying the karmic debris. It ends with an om. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desire. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desire. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desire. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desire. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desire. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desire. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity gun desires. Forgiveness is a key to health, be it physical, spiritual, mental or emotional. If we need help to be able to forgive, the violet flame can heal the pain that is preventing us from forgiving. This image depicts winged violet flame spheres of forgiveness being directed from the heart that we can send to anyone we need to forgive. We also may need to forgive ourselves. When we forgive ourselves, we can more easily forgive others. Kuan Yin, the goddess of mercy, teaches that the majority of us hold resentment towards God in our subconscious. Before we give this mantra, I invite you to choose someone who you need to forgive. Visualize the orbs of violet flame <clears throat> coming from your heart and winging their way to the recipient. I am forgiveness acting here, casting out all doubt and fear, setting men forever free with wings of cosmic victory. I am calling in full power for forgiveness every hour. To all life in every place, I flood forth forgiving grace. I am forgiveness acting here, casting out all doubt and fear, setting men forever free with wings of cosmic victory. I am calling in full power for forgiveness every hour. To all life in every place, I flood forth forgiving grace. I am forgiveness acting here, casting out all doubt and fear, setting men forever free with wings of cosmic victory. I am calling in full power for forgiveness every hour. To all life in every place, I put forth forgiving grace. In this video, this is a video for, for a more dynamic visualization. It's also given at a slightly faster pace. We'll give it three times in less than one minute. The words, on, the words are on the screen when they start playing. You're welcome to continue visualizing forgiving the same person or choose another situation. This decree is part of a 10 minute forgiveness decree video on our YouTube channel 
our divine potential. I am forgiveness acting here, casting out all doubt and fear, setting men forever free with wings of cosmic victory. I am calling in full power for forgiveness every hour, to all life in every place, I flood forth forgiving grace. I am forgiveness acting here, casting out all doubt and fear, setting men forever free with wings of cosmic victory. I am calling in full power for forgiveness every hour, to all life in every place, I flood forth forgiving grace. I am forgiveness acting here, casting out all doubt and fear, setting men forever free with wings of cosmic victory. I am calling in full power for forgiveness every hour, to all life in every place, I flood forth forgiving grace. The following affirmations <clears throat> can help us cleanse and accelerate our chakras by saturating them with violet flame. The affirmation sequence begins with our heart chakra and then weaves through the chakra pairs above and below the heart until all of the seven chakras are bathed in violet fire. It follows the path of the spiral in this image. Let's center in our hearts and calm our breathing. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. My heart is a chakra of violet fire. My heart is the purity God desires. My heart is a chakra of violet fire. My heart is the purity God desires. My heart is a chakra of violet fire. My heart is the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. My throat chakra is a wheel of violet fire. My throat chakra is the purity God desires. My throat chakra is a wheel of violet fire. My throat chakra is the purity God desires. My throat chakra is a wheel of violet fire. My throat chakra is the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. My solar plexus is a sun of violet fire. My solar plexus is a purity God desires. My solar plexus is a sun of violet fire. My solar plexus is a purity God desires. My solar plexus is a sun of violet fire. My solar plexus is a purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. My third eye is a center of violet fire. My third eye is the purity God desires. My third eye is a center of violet fire. My third eye is a purity God desires. My third eye is a center of violet fire. My third eye is a purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. My soul chakra is a sphere of violet fire, my soul is the purity God desires. My soul chakra is a sphere of violet fire, my soul is the purity God desires. My soul chakra is a sphere of violet fire, my soul is the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. My crown chakra is a lotus of violet fire. My crown chakra is the purity God desires. My crown chakra is a lotus of violet fire. My crown chakra is the purity God desires. My crown chakra is a lotus of violet fire. My crown chakra is the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. My base chakra is a fountain of violet fire. My base chakra is the purity God desires. 
My base chakra is a fount of violet fire. My base chakra is the purity God desires. My base chakra is the fount of violet fire. My base chakra is the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. You may wish to give those affirmations with full concentration and visualization every day for maybe the next 30 days and see how you feel. That video is also on our YouTube channel, Our Divine Potential. We only have time to skim the surface of cleansing and balancing our chakras. This book has more in-depth information with mantras for each of the chakras. It's published in paper and ebook form and available on Amazon. All links are below the video.